benefits of donating a car brought to you by Better Life Tip. The main objective of this video is to help you find out more about why donate your car to a charity, preparations before doing a donation, what to remember at the end of donating a car to a charity. I recommend that you watch this video till the end so that you don't miss any important information throughout the whole process of donating a car to a charity. You might come up with a question. Why donate your car to a charity? If you have a car in descendant working condition, by donating it, you will help a charity whose work you believe in. Get a healthy tax write-off. Avoid the hassles of selling the car yourself. Get rid of a car that does not have proper title. Preparation before doing a donation. If a tax deduction is an important consideration for you when donating a car to a charity, you should check out the charity See if you get the tax benefit. Check the value of your car. And see what your responsibility as a donor in the whole process of donating a car to a charity. Check out the charity. If you are eligible to deduct charitable contribution for federal income tax purposes, and you want to claim a deduction for donating your car to a charity, then you should make certain that the charity is a qualified organization, otherwise your donation will not be tax deductible. The most common type of qualified organization are organizations such as charitable, educational or religious organization. To verify that an organization is a charity qualified or to receive tax deductible contribution, see more information online at www.irs.gov slash eo under the show for charities. See if you get the tax benefit. You can deduct contributions to charity only if you itemize deductions on your schedule a form of 1040. You must take into account certain limitations on charitable contribution deductions. For example, your deduction cannot exceed 50% of your adjusted crow income. Check the value of your car. The maximum around you deduct on your income tax return is the fair market value of your car. Fair market value is the price a willing buyer would pay and a willing seller would accept for the car. When neither party is compelled to buy or sell, and both parties have reasonable knowledge of the relevant facts. Some fundamental uh, principle uh, should be applied when you uh, want to check the value of your car. A used car guide may be a good starting point to value your car, but you should exercise caution. The IOS will only allow a deduction for the fair market value of the car, which may be substantially less than the blue book value. Example, you donate your car to the local high school for use by students studying car repair. 
your credit union representative told you that the blue book valued the car $1,600. However, your car needs extensive repair. And after some checking, you find that you could only sell your car for $750. Your charitable contribution deduction may not exceed $750. The fair market value of the car. What to remember at the end of donating a car to a charity? Record keeping and filling requirement. Depending on the amount you are claiming as a charitable contribution deduction, you may need to get and keep certain record and file an additional form to sub Stanciate your charitable contribution. Written acknowledgement from the charity. That is really important. You must obtain a contemporaneous written acknowledgement from the charity if the total of deduction our claim for donate car is $250 or more. The acknowledgement must include the name of the charity a description but not the value of the car, and one of the following. A statement that no goods or service were provided by the charity in turn for a contribution, if that was case. A description and a good faith estimate of the value of a good or service, if any, and the charity provide in turn for the contribution. Or a statement that goods or services that the charity provided in turn for the contribution consisted entirely of intangible religious benefits, if that was the case. You must get a written acknowledgement on or before the earlier of the date you file your return for the year you make the contribution or the due date, including extension. For filing the return, a charity can provide either a paper copy of acknowledgement to the donor or a charity can provide acknowledgement electronically, such as via email address to the donor. Do not attach the acknowledgement to your income tax return. Instead, retain it with your record to sustain your contribution. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more tips. Thank you.